Today we decided to go to a free local garden. We were going to go to the zoo, but when we pulled up, it was absolutely packed, like crazy packed. Um, and that was a no-go. So we went to the garden. It is extremely hot there. I was like literally dying of heat exhaustion the whole time. So excuse my heavy breathing and enjoy the scenery. Yours. Say hi, Frank. How you doing? You just wake up? I see butterflies floating around. These are the same butterflies that we have in our backyard. I mean, the same. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm reading the book A Secret Garden and that's about what this reminds me of. I just love it. It's a huge beautiful garden that you can just stroll through. You could probably stroll for hours. And today it wasn't super busy. There were people but it wasn't super super busy. But look at that. And it's just a buzz with bees and birds, butterflies. It's beautiful. See the water? These pretty. Look at these hanging off the side here. They're little succulents. Oh, those are gorgeous. I wonder if I can take oh, a photo while I take a video. Those are pretty. Look at these little succulents kind of hanging off. Happy. You want to get out? Another bee. A little dragonfly. And the lily pads. Does the cabin have those lily pads, Mooch? So here we are under the grapevine here. It's nice and shady. Look at that beautiful bench. Look at those grapes. Frank is looking for a certain brick on the ground. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I just walked through here, and it's called the Tea Garden. It's got these beautiful flowers. These are, you can see here if you're interested. But it's very pretty. There's a beautiful monarch as I pulled up to the tea garden, but it's gone now. Aren't these gorgeous? Gosh, these are just beautiful. Those are beautiful, what are they? Oh, they're speckled throughout here.
show you this. This is the, called the Thai Garden. Look at this tree. And you go over the bridge to get over here. So here we are, it's quite impressive. It's probably a million photos of this that are way cooler than the ones I'm taking. But What do you think, Nooch? It's hard to even know what that is, huh? Choo-choo. Choo-choo? You think there should be a choo-choo somewhere in here? <laughs> I'm gonna go underneath here. I'm gonna go underneath here. Oh, who can't? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, the other side is open, strangely. Let's go around. Do, 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 do. Oh, I don't want to throw out my phone. <laughs> I think those rocks might have been my favorite part. I could have sat there for quite some time. Here's just some pictures. It was getting so hot and I was <laughs> my hands were literally slippery, so I started to worry about my camera. Yeah. Frank said my arm was sweating. How do arms sweat? That's what I want to know. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> Is that a tree? Is that wood? Wood. Wood? What happened to it? Wood. Hot. Is it hot? Mm. Is it hot? Does it smell? Wood. Does that bark? Yeah. Is that a cool piece of wood? Peace. Peace. So the day that we went there, they were having like a pollinator um, education day. And so they handed out a map of where all the pollinators were. But if you read this purple sign quick, it just says that they received a grant um, to support the pollinator habit areas throughout the gardens. A new habitat wall is constructed using limestone clay bricks and masonry blocks. Next spring, the void spaces will be filled with hollow stem nesting material for native bees. So the project will not only provide critical habitat, but will also hope to inspire, educate, and demonstrate how you can support and protect pollinators in your own garden. Pretty cool stuff. I mean, everywhere we walked through there, there, there were pollinators. Um, and the baby also got a free scoop of ice cream. But, you know, that's, that's not all it was about. But anyway, so especially in this area, we did see the beehives, but especially in this area, there were bees. Um, there were bees kind of back where we just were. But then as we walked down further in this little section, it was just like bees all over it was crazy the baby wanted to grab them so we had to kind of all of a sudden quick get out of there but then frank and i were kind of remarking about how it used to be like that when we were young you'd see bee patches like that not anymore <laughs> 